Guys, it's Impry from Impry Gaming here, and today we're doing an 8 minutes 15 seconds video on an app I actually got told by one of my family members. I didn't even know it existed. So, as you can see here, this is connection status, and as you can see, it's Bob Boy himself. So, what this is, if I click on offline mode, this actually is a unique thing to new Fallout 4. As you can see on the account itself, there is, you have the status, special, and perks. Oops, sorry. So, what this is itself, it allows me to show you what basically my stats are on Fallout 4. Wait, I've actually got a little PlayStation 4 playing it. I've only, if I find, I think it is on data. As you can see here, I've got loads, loads of air, summary, loads of submissions and missions to do. It's actually piled up quite big. And the ones I'm mainly doing at the moment is Minutemen and... I'm just trying to get the Minutemen over and done with. Because once that's done, because the Minutemen gives you settlements, helps you find settlements, helps you help out the others in the world itself, in the Commonwealth, as it's called. So that's actually a unique thing. If I go over workshops, as you can see here, this shows you, well, yeah, this shows you all the stats. If I'm actually playing the game, I can actually click show on map. It takes me there. There's my fault armor. As you, oh yeah, I forgot. Doesn't do anything. As you can see, personally, I've not explored much. I have got the diamond city, as you can see. I've gone down here. That mission was annoying. That was so annoying. That school, and I've still got one thing to do, which I need to improve my hacking. So if I go back to data, go over to status. It actually shows you. Local locals um, locations discovered forty six nine locations cleared days passed is eighteen um, hours slept eleven hours waiting zero caps found three thousand two hundred and ninety most caps carried one thousand eight hundred and one thousand thirty four junk collected I'm actually going to show you this. oh no I can't. It's in my storage. As you can see, it gives you a rough estimate. Quests. Quests completed 13. Michigan quests completed 5. Main quests completed 2. Side quests 3. Brother of the Steel 2. Minutemen 5. Minutemen is going to be my priority on the list. So I can get that. People killed 85. Animals killed 30. Don't even know how I killed 30. Creatures killed 95. Robots 2, Synths 5, Turrets 11, Legendary Enemies 1, and that scared me. That generally scared me, that Legendary Enemy. I stood there, and I had to waste my entire rocket launcher. And it wasn't a normal Legendary, it was a Super Mutant. So it was really scary. Backstabs 1. Uh, I don't... Doesn't show you, does it? It's also like I've only made shown you um, the amount of um, what's it? What are they called? Death claws killed. We crafting weapon mods thirteen, armor mods six, plants seventy seven, chem zero, food sixteen, workshop six. Items scrapped 1,324. Items objects built 549. Crime. <laughs> yeah, I've gone there. I've done a lot of it. Locks picked 28. Computers hacked 11. Pickpocketed 3. Items stolen 233. Murders uh, 13. Right. The mid, there's one actually mission. Uh, it's not part of the main storyline. I don't know if you should find it or not. But one mission you actually you have to guess. If it's a simp or if it's a human. 
So, as I was going on, this is actually my inventory itself. On the game, it actually shows you what weapons I have. And at the moment, my favourite gun is that. And it's like armament. As you can see, I've got those for the girls in my in my place. And you see, I'm trying to limit of what I've got. Well, the misc. I can't get rid of UR specials, so... But your special, if you go back into your house, it's by your uh, son's crib. And you can just pick it up. As you can see here, yeah, this actually shows you the, the items you're looking for. Shows you what mods. Shows you ammo. And if I if it's in here, no, it must be... Oh no, there it is. A fusion car. I actually went into the school. Got a fusion car from the school. Went into the... A trader far caravan came through, and technically speaking, I got a fusion core for free because I traded loads of stuff for it. But what I mainly wanted to show you was click local map. I love this. Oh no, I can't. It's offline. I love this because if you got a local, if you're online, and that says online, um, you actually get if you click on local map you actually zoom in on the area and it shows you as your move as your character moves but as you can see here radio stations if I click on that it gives me my format um but one of the key features I found really handy is on the map itself so if I go over to let's say there it tells me how many people, happiness, how many people, happiness, how many people, happiness, how many people, happiness, uh, how many people, happiness, but the best, best part out of all is you can actually have two people playing the game itself, so technically Fallout 4 is a multiplayer. But it's a unique multiplayer. I let my uh, I let my brother play it on my account. So this is actually my all my information on my character at the moment. And he was walking around. and I thought, oh, let's click on um, Diamond City Market, tap it, and it says travel to location. I was like, oh, will it show me the local map of that? And it actually travelled my character from the game itself. To Diamond City Market. So this app, you can have two people, and they could direct you to your location you need. Hopefully, you found that interesting today. I found it interesting, so I wanted to um, share it with you. Hopefully, you enjoyed, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.